Before jumping into talking about feedback loops, I want to talk briefly on the differences between passive and active EQs. And I won't spend much time, just quickly the basic differences. Frequency attenuation circuits are mostly made from passive components, resistors, inductors, and capacitors. With the most basic example, perhaps being a simple RC low-pass filter. The resistor causes only a certain amount of signal or frequencies to be absorbed by the capacitor, and no amplification is needed. If we send an audio voltage signal through this, we will only receive the low frequencies given the resistor and capacitor value combinations. In passive EQs, like the various Pultec models, use a complex network of circuits like this to achieve their signature curves. But passive circuits only attenuate, or cut volumes. So while the tone shaping curve itself is done with passive components, a buffer or amplification stage is needed afterwards to restore a unity gain from the passive circuit's insertion loss. Something like this. The signal comes in, volume is reduced, so we can let that reduction up for a boost, and cuts further increase the reduction. Then an amplifier restores the signal to unity gain, so our boosts become perceived as audible boosts and not just less attenuation. EQ, and then amplification. Now an active EQ circuit still uses mostly the same type of tone shaping components and designs, but instead incorporates it into the amplification stage itself in the form of a feedback loop. A tone circuit that's fed back into the amplifier. And this gives us lots of control over amount and polarity, and technically much greater control over the EQ shapes and ability. But a series of filters through operational amplifiers would certainly have a different flavor than one big complex tone stack structure with a hefty tube makeup stage. Just depends on the sound. But now we can talk more about feedback. And you may think of shrieking or piercing sounds generally to be avoided, but in electronic circuits, feedback is often used to control, modify, or balance things. And perhaps the easiest example to illustrate this will be with an op amp, like what we would find in active EQ designs. An op amp in audio generally provides gain, and op amps typically have a lot of gain available. If we were to send a signal into a wide open op amp, we would probably have a very large amount of amplification on the output. So a feedback loop is used to send an amount of signal back in to stabilize and control the operation of the operational amplifier. And it's within this process that we would place the filters for an active EQ. But a feedback loop would also be used in that passive EQ's output stage. In this case, to try to improve linearity by removing the distortion caused by the tube amplification. And I plan on talking about this type of negative or balancing feedback in a future video. Be sure to check out PCEQ5 new from Psycho Circuitry.